another video. I am Tamika, and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy you clicked on this video. And if you are not here, thanks for the support and always coming back. And if you are new here, I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family and all things ultrasound and insight to my beautiful world. So let's get into the video. In today's video, I am telling you five things. Yes, that's right. Five things that make you outshine or shine on the job as an ultrasound traveler. Um, when we go into a new company and we're fresh on the scene, they expect a lot from us. And I wrote down five things so you guys could be a little bit, have a little bit more insight before you walk in there. Number one. Be ready to learn their ways. Yes, their ways. Not your ways, but their ways. When you're fresh on the scene and you're walking into their establishment and their ultrasound department, you don't know anything about how they function on a day-to-day -day basis. So be ready to learn their ways. Their computer system, how they process their images, how they talk to a radiologist, how they um, communicate, you know, it's it's a lot of, uh, in, like there's a lot of chiefs in ultrasound. There's not too many Indians, but there's a lot of chiefs. One tech might show you how to do things one way and another tech might tell you how to do the same thing a different way. So to be, um, I guess not to be confused between the two techs, read their protocol book ask um, make sure you're following what the lead sonographer is doing um just because you see just say for instance me on my phone that doesn't mean that it gives you permission to be on your phone don't have a cell phone out i told you guys before get you an iphone uh, I, apple watch keep your iphone in your in your pocket and if you don't have an iphone um, get you an Android watch because it comes, it really comes, becomes, becomes useful. I think that's what I'm going to say. It really becomes useful to you when you're actually on the job because you won't have your phone out. Um, if you get any notifications from your family or if it's an emergency, you'll have it right there on your watch, on your person, and you don't have to pull out your phone. Having a phone out is a stickler on jobs. So, don't do it just because you see Betty Lou and Tamika on their phone don't think that you are oh well, I'm a part of the crew you're not you're just there temporary and they will replace you if you cause any problems the other thing is is that to go along with that um go introduce yourself to the radio radiologist the chief radiologist go introduce you to introduce yourself to the radiologist that will prob primarily be working alongside of ultrasound um and introduce yourself let them know like hey i'm here i'm new my name is so and so and if you have any questions about my images please let me know he will um or she will but nine times out of ten when you do like introduce yourself it sends good vibes it's it, it you know you're the, they're establishing how you scan so when they see your initials come in or your name come in on the scan they say, okay, now they have a face with the scan. Um, so definitely be ready to learn their ways. Um, and I, I can't impose that enough. I can't say that enough because I've been in that situation where oh, I'm like, oh, I know how to do it. I got, and kind of got reprimanded for it. So you don't want to have that chip on your shoulder or you know it's not the confidence I talk about but it's like oh well yeah I used that at the last last place that I was at and you know we used it here I mean and you guys use the same thing but maybe they run it a little different so see how they do portables see how they transmit over you know onto the pack system if they use a Nighthawk system if they you know if you have to um do one process and then another one before it gets to the doctor. Make sure you're learning their ways. Number two, be open to learn. I know it sounds like number one, but it's not. Be open to learn. 
if someone is willing to teach you a modality, be open to that. I've been on place on sites and new, you know, in new places, and they might say, "Hey, Tamika, do you know how to do baby hips?" Well, at that time, no, I didn't. But I'm not gonna say, "Well, no, I don't," and I don't want to really learn that. No, that opens up more things on your resume. That's a, you're able to add that on your resume. So be open to learn. If they want to teach you vascular, if they want to teach you OB, if they want to teach you neonatal heads, be open to learn that's very very huge because you don't want to um say oh well Tamika was a traveler here but she didn't want to learn you know this this and this and we don't want her back no you want to be able to grow as you travel and growing is a part of being open to learn so I know you thought that was the same thing but no be open to learn grow your resume uh get out there um, and be eager. Go on the site thinking like, hey, this is a new opportunity and with new opportunities, new doors will open. They might offer you a job, you never know. So be open to learn. Number three, be on time. Let me say that again, be on time. When you're traveling, you're going to a new city. So if you have to map out the night before, how to get to that um, facility, do it. If you have to wake up an hour early just to get to work on time, do it. Don't walk in with a Starbucks thinking like, oh, well, I'm just here to do an assignment and they need me. No, they don't need you. You're very replaceable. But you don't want to be a burden to them. So be on time. Um, you're there as an asset. You're there to help their department. So show that. Show the appreciation in showing up on time, being ready to start your job at eight. So if you if you start work at eight, you should be there no later than 7.45, ready and willing to, like ready and open to go, like ready to go at eight o'clock. Grabbing your first patient, you shouldn't be in the break room, you shouldn't be putting your stuff, at it, st stuff up at eight, you shouldn't be doing anything of the sort, not talking to Mary Jo and Tamika over there, no, you should be ready to hit the floor running at eight o'clock. Um, that's huge, that's huge. Cause a lot of travelers think like, oh, well they need me, they're short, they're not. no. They, they were functioning with you before and don't make being late the reason why they say, hey, or call your traveling agency and say, hey, you know, Tamika was late today and you know, tomorrow, it, don't, don't make it a don't make it a track record show up on time make sure that you get you know like I said wake up early go start your car it might be snowing where you are you never driven in the snow don't let that be an excuse because you could have woke up an hour early to get to work on time um, you know so yeah be on time number four never call in sick why 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 you say Never call in sick. Number one, it kind of contradicts about what I just said before, but they need you. You are there to fill a void, obviously. And if you're calling in sick, well, who are they, who's there to back you up if you're, if you're calling in sick? Don't do it. Don't call in sick. Um, and the other reason is I know that we're dealing with a lot of things going on, panorama in the world. Um, don't use that as an excuse. If you are exposed or what have you, go by their protocol because don't create your own. Don't say, oh, well, I thought, no. Call the manager, say, this is my symptoms. This is what I'm doing, going through. I'm gonna go get tested and I'll let you know. Um, right now I think it's five days quarantine. If you are positive, it's 10 days. I believe CDC changed it again, but, um, so that can weigh a factor on you calling in sick, but if we were not in a panorama right now, you never call in sick. Even back then when we were still going to work sick, you would show up sick. So don't call in sick um, because it really leaves a bitter, bitter taste in their mouth when if they say, hey, do you wanna extend 
Tamika's contract or Melissa's contract. What you know, they were like, no, she called in one too many times. We're only there for 13 weeks. And if you call in that one day, it's 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 very minimal. It's not like you're there on a company and you have 365 days to work with. No, you're there only for 13 weeks. And one day is too much unless you're dealing with what we're going what's going on in the world. Um number five. Don't get involved with politics and the gossip in your department. If Melissa has a problem with Tamika, there is no reason for you to insert yourself into that situation. Um, you're there to do a job, show up, learn, be on time, and don't call in sick. And weed yourself out of that. You don't need to be involved. Don't say, well, what happened there? Or who said this and who said that? No, you're there to do a job. Do your job, do your eight hours, your 12 hours, and go home. Don't get involved. I'm telling you. Because when they call your agency, that's going to be reported. She's messy. She's catty. She's, in, you know, she's too involved. And that's not what we're looking for. Or we don't want to resign her 13 weeks. Especially if it's a good paying 13 weeks. Why jeopardize that over who said, she said, who shot John and who didn't? Um, stay to yourself. Now, I'm not telling you not to be nice, not to be cordial. Greet, say hello. How was your weekend? That type of thing. But don't get involved in the mess. Don't, mm -mm. What did you cook last night? That's great. Great conversation to have. Past that, don't say, well, you know, Johnny is dating Melissa from X-Ray and, you know, well, he was dating. No, don't get involved. Leave it, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Um, and I'm telling you this because these are just all things that I have witnessed or experienced myself. So um, it comes with 20 years of experience. And I'm trying to tell you guys how to start a great traveling career from start. Um, okay, so that was five points, key points, special points that are near and dear to my heart when I see someone new on the scene. And as a sonographer, say if I was at one company and this traveler came in, these are things that I'm looking at. These are things that I'm going to go back and tell my lead sonographer or the manager, she's not a good fit, he's not a good fit, or he's, he's a good fit and she's a good fit because X, Y, and Z. So make sure that X, Y, and Z are always positive. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. But I have a bonus one. The bonus one is go above and beyond. Sometimes this might equal or look like you're being used, but you're not. You're not being used. Definitely go above and beyond. And when I say that, if Melissa has done four patients, you do six or seven patients. Always make sure that you are trying to one up the permanent tech because that's going to one, look good when they give you the recommendation for your next assignment. But two, it's going to sit well with them because if they want to extend your contract, it shows that you're a team player. It shows that you are, um, not workable, but you're you're eager. You're you're wanting to work. You're there to work. You're there to do the job they hired you for, which is to fill in a place, fill a void, fill a spot on their team. So, yes, be eager to learn. Like I said, it might feel like you are doing too much work versus the permanent text, but that's okay. You're only there for 13 weeks. It's just a job to move you on to your next one. But this one will help you get your next one. So, because, you know, letter of recommendations, they're gonna call and get a, um, like a, a feedback on how you worked and how did you work in the department. Um, make sure that, you know, you're going portables. Don't don't run away from being doing portables. Don't run away from being doing jobs. Don't run and hide and try to say, well, I already did three patients and, you know, it's time for somebody else to do theirs. No. Believe me, go above and beyond. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you really, truly enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one.